the eleventh Sunday after Pentecost, year A. From the Gospel according to Matthew, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Redemption, my friends, is a whole lot like sausage making. Redemption is when God takes all those awkward and unwanted bits of our lives and transforms them into something better than we could have asked for or imagined. We see this redemption at work in Joseph's tearful reunion with his treacherous brothers. What could have been a public shaming, an occasion for Joseph to denounce his brothers for selling him into slavery and telling his father that he was dead, instead involves a different sort of reckoning. God sent me before you to preserve life, says Joseph, not just forgiving them, but witnessing to the good God has brought out of their evil. I'll see something similar going on in the salvation of the Gentiles. God has transformed their disobedience not only into an occasion for showing mercy to them, but also for extending that mercy to his chosen people. In our Gospel reading, the faith that the Canaanite woman demonstrates in demanding mercy from Jesus is enough to transform what could have been just another nasty inter-ethnic encounter into an occasion for healing. We live in a world that's in desperate need of such healing. Our world is full of occasions for grief and for strife. It may be good and pleasant when kindred live together in unity, but it's also fairly rare. We are, to use Paul's words, so imprisoned in disobedience that we must pray for God to be merciful to us all lest none of us be saved. Let us walk forward secure in the knowledge that even a scrap of the infinite mercy of God is enough to transform all those awkward and unwanted bits of our lives. In the name of that God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.